So this is a demonstration by the Mad Scientist Hut. Uh, this is about the simplest radiation detector you could build. It's an ionization chamber. Um, the multimeter here is set on the 200 millivolt range and you see the readings are fluctuating because there is background ionization ra radiation. Um, this is made with um, four transistors. They're Darlington pairs. There's two NPNs and two PNPs. Um, there's six resistors a trimmer pot, a 9 volt battery holder, the wire to reach the outside world from the inside the chamber. Um, these parts right here would be included in a kit from Mad Scientist Hut for $9.99. Um, you can come to the website, get the information yourself, purchase them from another source from yourself. Uh, there's schematics and instructions how to build this. Um, parts that you would have to also provide for yourself if you're to buy the kit is a 9 volt battery, solder of course, uh, some aluminum foil, um, a cookie tin or a tea can would be uh, suitable um, for building these because the tin can itself is easy to solder to. Um, so let's get to the demonstration of the chamber. Um, we have some radioactive lantern mantles here attached to my little handy dandy helping hands. So if you watch the meter reading, I'll put the mantles right in front of the chamber. And it has a slow response time. It's not like a Geiger counter, but it does detect radiation, so ionizing radiation. Um, watch it uh, slowly ionize the chamber. So it seems to have settled out somewhere around 60 to 65 millivolts, which uh, I've repeatedly done multiple times. Um, so you take the source away from the chamber and you watch the ionization slowly drop off. And the chamber will die back down to the background radiation levels. Be sure to visit madscientisthut.com and uh, we will have step-by-step -step instructions on how to build one of these. Um, this information was originally obtained from TechLib. Uh, there will be a link there also. Thank you for watching.